All right, so in this video, I'm just going to briefly touch on the phases of the game itself. Now, I didn't even really want to do this video, but I felt I needed to because most of the information that we're going to touch on here is going to be covered in later videos. The big thing is with this game in the upkeep phase, a lot of the movement that you're going to be resolving in your impulse phase gets resolved completely in the following upkeep phase. So that's what I wanted to specifically go over in this video. So when we get into the movement videos later, you'll understand that I'm referencing back to this video and the upkeep phase. So the phases of the game are your upkeep phase, your impulse phase, your turn end phase, and then victory conditions check. You're seeing if the game's over. Upkeep phase, we're going to touch on a little more specifically here in a sec. Impulse, it's just impulse. It's where the players are taking their actions going back and forth. Uh, turn end phase, we briefly covered before. Again, that has to do with your action card deck and when it runs out. Now, see, the thing that comes into it with the upkeep phase is this is when you resolve a whole bunch of different things like melee and overrun attacks, terrain placement, resolving movement, all that's going to be done here in the upkeep phase. So just as an example, if our infantry squad here in a previous turn, in the previous uh, impulses, had received a move order, he would have a move order, he'd have a fatigue counter on him, and the order would be telling him to go over here and move into this road. That movement ultimately would not be done until this upkeep phase. So in the previous impulse, he was given this order, but then you're going to resolve it in the following upkeep phase. This is different from some other games that you might have played where you issue a movement order and you go ahead and move during that impulse. In this one, you do not move during the impulse. Now, there is going to be a later set of videos where I'm going to go over all the specifics of movement. But again, since it does have so much going on during this phase of the game, that's why I wanted to make this specific video to show you guys to tell you, hey, remember, there's movement going on here and then it's resolving during this time period. Terrain is another thing that we're going to touch on a lot later on, but it does play a large factor here in the upkeep phase as well. Just as an example, if this squad were moving into this sector instead, let's say the road was not located there, then we would have to place terrain like we talked about previously uh, during the setup forces, which could be either done through the play of a recon card if you had a terrain card in your hand, or from drawing a random card off the top of your terrain deck, which would have been preset before the scenario started. There is also an option to refuse terrain if terrain is drawn and the opponent decides to refuse it. This we are also going to cover during the movement sector uh, section of the videos. Now, something else that is going to happen during your upkeep phase is the terrain removal. And that happens if there is no unit adjacent to the terrain. All right, so let's move this as a squad over. And let's say our terrain was kind of like this. This squad's over here adjacent, but we have this building over here that has no one adjacent to it. Well, then the building would be removed during this upkeep phase. Now there is some terrain that will stay on the board. That's gonna be listed down in your scenario. Specific terrain like any capture points, objectives, uh, that is definitely gonna stay on the map regardless if any troops are adjacent to it or not. Also when it comes to the upkeep phase, again, there's a lot going on during this period of time, which like I said, we're gonna cover in later videos, but I wanna make sure and address all of it that is getting touched on during this segment of the game. Uh, you're going to uh, have any blazing terrain morale checks. You're going to ready all of your spent leaders, button or unbutton your armored fighting vehicles, and you can transfer support weapons and combine half squads. All of that plus the resolving of the movement and the terrain that I was just talking about earlier all of that's going to be done and resolved during your upkeep phase of the game. So 
later on videos when I'm covering all of these specific subjects when we're talking about it. So when we're going over movement specifically, just remember when I'm referencing back to handling it during the upkeep phase, this is the portion that I'm talking about. 